Welcome back, my amazing kindergarten artists. Pablo Picasso, Picasso Cubist Style Heart, Part 2. The materials you'll need this week are your project from last week and some watercolor paints. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. Welcome back, boys and girls. Now we're ready to add some paint to our heart we created last week. So go ahead and get your heart from last week and now get out your watercolor paints because we're gonna add some paint. <clears throat> Remember, watercolors use water to make their colors. That's why they're called watercolors. So make sure that you use lots of water when you're using your paints. So once you can pick four different colors for your section, doesn't matter which colors today. So I'm gonna start with red and I'm gonna paint over top of my heart this section with the circles. You do not have to use the same colors as I am, but now you're gonna see what happens because we used the white crayon last week. Now we're gonna see those shapes pop out of our heart while we're using the paint. And the reason it does that is because crayons are made by using wax. They use a certain kind of material in them called wax and wax and water don't like each other. So when they are used together, they will not interrupt each other and they won't mess each other up, which is why we can see our crayon shining through our paint. Remember when you're going to another color, rinse your brush really good with water before you dip it into the next color. So for my next color, I'm gonna use green and I'm gonna color this section right here with green and let's see because I can't see what shapes are underneath. Let's see if I can figure it out, because I can't remember. So now I'm going to see, oh, I see a shape. And that shape looks like a square. So this was my square section. So if you forget which shapes you used on your different sections of your hearts, you'll be able to find out as soon as you put your paint on top, because they will pop out. And you will notice that the harder that you draw with your white crayon to create your shapes, the brighter it's gonna come out on your picture. All right. So now I've got my square section done with paint. I'm ready to figure out another color for my next section. And let's see, I'm gonna use purple for my next one. So I'm making sure I rinse my brush with water dipping it into my purple. And now I'm gonna color this section and let's see, I can't remember what shape was underneath. If you know what it is, go ahead and call it out. I think, up. Oh, it looks to me like it's a triangle. So now I can see my triangles shining through with my paint over top. And for my last section, I'm gonna use some orange. And let's see, I have circles here, squares, triangles. Now let's see which one I put up here. I can't remember. Oh, there it is. Let's see if you know what it is. Go ahead and call it out. It is an X. This must be the section I put my X's. All right, so now we're coloring over this section of our heart. Make sure you fill in your white spots, except for the white crayon, because it won't connect to it. But make sure you fill in all your white spots of your heart. Once you're finished adding all of the paint to it, go ahead and set it aside. We're gonna let it dry, put it in a safe spot. And then next week we have one more thing we're gonna add to our heart. Time to put your project in your art box until next week. See you next time.